Hello, this is a brief video about the macro capabilities of my new camera, which is a Olympus Tough 5, which is also called a TG-5. And while I would not leave home without the Nikon D750 in conducting investigation work, this definitely has its place in the kit. This is a camera that I learned about from my ex-work colleague and present friend, James Page of Perio Engineering, who showed me its microscope mode and the reason that he has this camera. So I'll be telling you about that today. I just attended a evidence exam and every person in the room had one of these except for me. So I, I figured that it was time and I also marked my camera because of the two choices of color, red and black, it seems that fire investigators wisely choose the red one. Now, if you're doing macro work, you'll need this accessory. This is the LG-1, which is the light guide. And I guess they haven't had any successors because it's still number one. And it directs the LED light from the front of the camera down here and just internally reflects it. So this is not a light source. It's just redirecting the light from the camera because there is an LED here and that's the flash there. So. This pops on the front, there's a dot, a gray dot there, and a white dot here. And let's see if we line those up and push down and rotate clockwise, it clicks into place. And if you, here's another little tip, if you press and hold the info button on this camera, then it, oh, I just pressed it once, so all it's done now is actually another tip is that pressing info brings up your GPS and compass time and temperature. Uh, pressure and elevation, but I'll turn that off and I'll press and hold info. I guess it takes a little while. Maybe I, there we go. So we've got the light on the front and this is what's going to be utilized for the macro work that we're talking about here. So I'll just turn that off and turn the camera on. And on this mode dial, we're going to rotate to the picture of the microscope. And we'll see that there are four sub modes. There is microscope, focus stacking, and it says shoot photos with an extended depth of field. Please allow for processing time after shooting. Tripod use is recommended. The next one is focus bracketing, which says take takes multiple pictures at once at different focus positions. Tripod use is recommended. And then microscope control, which just allows you to uh, sort of multiply the, the microscope. You can go to two times and four times by pressing to the right on the flash button or the right uh, arrow pad key. So the ones that we're mostly concerned with here are focus stacking and focus bracketing. And they're very similar. Focus bracketing takes multiple shots and records them all and focus stacking takes multiple shots and then uh, it processes that into one image where you have focus across uh, all of those different shots that it takes. So let's go into that mode. Now in this focus stacking, if you have the light guide on, you're going to want to make sure that it turns on during picture taking. So if you press to the right uh, on the flash button and go over to this, which is LED on, that's what you'll want. And I just got my uh, vacuum in pieces right now to diagnose a problem with it. But I'm going to put the camera basically right against the circuit board and then press the button. And you'll see that it's illuminating it with the light guide. And then when I take the picture in a second, I'm going to stop talking so you can hear the motor doing its thing. And there it's processing it. So it took the multiple shots and it's stitching them together. So on the left, I'll just bring that up. So this is the composite image that has everything in focus and this is just the, the first shot in the series. So perhaps not a staggering difference to your eyes, but I can tell, for example, that the writing on this circuit board is illegible in the first shot and uh, clear in the second. And just take another picture. Here's my son trying to meet his maker by 
taking some tweezers and inserting them into a receptacle. Which is not a great idea. So let's take those. Now that was a lot of movement on my part. Let's see if it can deal with that shaky hand mat. And it did. That's fantastic. That's a great example. So here we see everything in focus and the other, the first shot in that series where it seems like the focus point was on the, the further away uh, time there. So that's focus stacking and the other mode was I'm going to rotate away from microscope and then back into it and we'll do focus bracketing and I'll just sort of take this on a bit of an angle here which will highlight what it's doing. So I've set that up so that it takes 10 shots. So if I now press play and cycle through those, you'll see it starts with the foreground in focus and then moves the focus position toward the back. So I get 10 photographs with the one button press with various focus positions. So that's also fantastic for evidence examinations. And one thing that you can do is you can go into menu once you have the LED turned on and your other uh, settings the way that you want them. You can go up to uh, preliminary and basic shooting options and the first option is reset slash assign custom modes and then you can assign these settings to custom 1 and custom 2 which are C1 and C2 on this mode selector dial. So I've done that already and C1 for me is the uh, focus stacking which produces the two images and then the focus bracketing which produces 10 images and that can be set to 20 or 30 in the settings with various uh, with either I think it's small medium or large steps in between the different focuses so that's just a quick tutorial about how you can set up your camera and use it for macro work uh, with a focus on, uh, I guess, forensic engineering. Thank you very much for watching.